You got any questions, young brother? You said circumcision? Yeah, I was Circumcision was given to our forefather Abraham in Genesis 17. Circumcision was given to our forefather Abraham. It was a covenant. So all our males have to be circumcised. All right? We're going to get that. The law of circumcision. You, you got a question? You say what? How to heal? How to heal? How to heal? We're going to show you. Step on over. Step on over here, brother. We're going to show you how to heal from death. We're going to keep God's commandments. That's how we're going to heal from death. That's right. That's what's going to bring us out of this lower state. That's what's going to bring us down, uh, bring us up out of this society. How are we living? Dead to, dead to God's commandments and laws? we got to come back. Because the Christian church tell you what? God's laws are done away with, right? That's what Christian, your Christian pastors say. God's laws are done away with. He died and did away with all that. That's wrong. That's false. God did not die for you to do whatever you want to out here in sin. God died for you to repent. That's right. He fulfilled the sacrificial law in the Bible. All right? You want circumcision? Yeah, circumcision. Get that. Genesis chapter 17, verse 10. Uh -huh. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep. This is your question. This is where circumcision came from. Read. Between me and you, uh -huh. and thy seed after thee. He says, between me and you, and thy seed after thee. He's talking to Abraham. And he's saying, Abraham, your seed after you, we're going to keep this same covenant going. Read. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. See that? Every man child among the Israelites shall be circumcised. Read. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. Uh huh. And it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. It was a token of a covenant between God and Abraham. That's where circumcision started. And he said it shall be a covenant between me and you and your seed after you. Meaning it continues. It's going on. With Abraham's seed, our seed. Like I'm about to have a son here soon. I'm going to have to get him circumcised. I'm going to keep the covenant. I'm keeping God's laws. Read. Verse 12. And he that is eight days old. He that is what? Eight days old. Eight days old. On the eighth day, he must be circumcised. That's the commandment. Read. Shall be circumcised among you. Shall be circumcised. So that eighth day after his birth, on that eighth day, get your son circumcised. That's right. You understand? So, you said, how did he, how did he, yeah. Uh, Romans 6.23 right. We're going to show you death We're going to show you death And while we're still, while we going through these things we're going through Alright Romans chapter 6 verse 23 Read that Romans chapter 6 verse 23 Come on For the wages of sin Is death It's what? Is death It starts with sin bro Sin God created us to live forever We were supposed to be immortal But our forefather Adam sinned And brought death into the world So we continue to sin and sin and sin That's why we keep dying because we don't keep God's laws. Like I was just explaining to the sister back there. She didn't know shrimp, pork, or crab and lobster. You couldn't eat that. A lot of our people don't. They're not teaching that in the Christian church. Are they teaching you don't eat shrimp, don't eat pork, don't eat crab, don't eat lobster? Yes, I read it for them. They feed it to you. They have uh, catfish fry Sunday. They feed you breakfast. It's pork sausage. They're not teaching you the words of God. That's right. Y'all want already? Yeah, they, grits and shrimp. That's an abomination to God. You can eat the grits, leave the shrimp alone. He said, so it starts with sin, my brother. Now you have to repent for all of y'all. 51 verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have what? Have fainted. All, this, all our sons have fainted out here. Fainted from what? Keeping God's laws. We're in the midst of sin every day. That's why so much wickedness. Look, at, look behind you. Look what's going on behind you. The drug dealing, pimping. Our sisters out here half naked. Our men out here not taking care of their sons. Parents halfway off their behind. We high. We drunk. These things are an abomination to God. They're sin. It says our sons have what? Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. Where our young men hang out at? On the street corners. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says the young black man will be out here hanging on the street corners. Read. As they wild fool. As they wild fool. These young boys are wild, ain't they? 
Bible says he's your man out here. Wow! They're crazy. Oh, I'm telling you, man. 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 I'm telling you, if you know this man back behind you look like Christ, or this this young man over here next to you looks like Christ, I see the Christ in you. I wouldn't have hatred to shoot you down for no reason. We should be able to talk as grown men. Grown men should be able to sit down, talk, and hash out their situations. Right. Right. But now we run the guns. We want to shoot these young men. They so they feminine. They don't know how to be a man. Right. They quit to go, go grab a gun and kill when we can sit down and talk like real men. That's right. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. Uh huh. They lie at all the streets. They lie at all the streets. All our young black men hang out on the street corners all day. Yeah, we gonna finish it. They, stick with me, young brother. Read. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. Uh huh. As a wild bull in a net. As a just like a wild bull is trapped in a net. That's how our young men are. Read. They are full. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Read. The rebuke of thy God. This is that's the rebuke, correction from God. They get rebuked. Read. Therefore, hear now this: thou afflicted and drunk, but not with wine. Not with wine. They drunk it with America's philosophy, America's doctrine, how America portrays the black man, how they should live. Get Scarface, all these TV shows, rappers. All right, brother. Hey, check the flyer. Our school is on the back of the flyer. You go to church? She's no comment. That means yes, you go to church, sister. You don't go to church? Good. Don't go to church. I don't go no more. You don't go no more? I don't go no more. Okay. Let me get through the right between two and five. Yes, this is a commandment for you, sister. They wouldn't teach you. They wouldn't teach you not to eat uh shellfish. So we're gonna see if they taught you this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. The boy. The woman. The who? The woman. The woman. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, if I had on a woman's garment, would you take me serious? Yeah. If I had on a dress, if I had on high heels, you wouldn't take me serious, correct? Read it from the top now. The woman. It says the woman. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth. To a man. Now, what are some things that women wear that pertain to men? Pants. Pants pertain to men. Pants or shorts, which are short pants, belong to the men. That's right. God made pants and shorts for the man, not for the women. All women are supposed to dress. Like, hold on. Let that pass. Say how are women supposed to dress? Like ladies. Do our young women dress like ladies today? First Timothy uh, 2 and 9. Yes, sir. This is going to show you the scripture of how to dress like a lady in the Bible. Cause it, it, do you see this out here in the world today? No. Our women dress half naked, booty shorts, showing everything. Do you know your body is meant for your husband? Your body is meant for one man to see, which is your husband. Everybody shouldn't be seeing your body or your figure or your shape. That's meant for your husband. Read that. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Uh huh. And like now also that the woman adorn themselves and what in modest apparel. That's not modest. In modesty, just walk past you. That's right. Modesty is right behind you. You know. God said, do what? Read. Read on the top. And like now also that the woman adorn themselves and what in modest apparel. In modest apparel. That's dressing like a lady. That's dressing covered up where everybody can't see your figure. Not a little black dress, not booty shorts. It gotta be free flowing. You see, you understand? Are pants free flowing? No. You walk down the street, a brother is looking directly at one thing and one thing only. He's not thinking about making you a wife. You're right. He's looking at your behind. He's not thinking about making you a wife. That's right. He's thinking one thing and one thing only. I want to get in the pants. That's why we got baby mamas and baby daddies and STDs running rampant and throughout our community. Bring it out. We treat our women like whores because they dress like whores. Our women have no respect how they dress out here. What does God say? Read it again. In like manner also, uh -huh. that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. 
modest apparel. That's how women supposed to dress. Not in pants, not in booty shorts, not in daisy dudes. That way they, they breast all exposed, covered up, because your body is meant for your husband and him only. Right. Have some respect for ourselves out here, sister. We shouldn't be out here half naked. Sister, you understand that? You understand that pants are, are uh, for, made for men? Rick, go back to Deuteronomy. Come up here, sister. Deal with us for a second. We're teaching the Bible. We teach the repentance and the truth of who we are according to the to the Bible, God's word. You know who the Israelites according to the Bible? That's right. Have you been taught that? No. You been taught that? That we the Israelites. We're gonna show you today. We are the chosen people. We're not African American, we're not black. My boots is black, right? That's a color, not a nation of people. Can you buy a plane ticket and go to the land of black? No. Read that. Let me show you a commandment that we just bring out. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Our men out here dressing these feminine. These rappers make that so pop popular now, don't they? Yeah. It's the tons of gay rappers out here making our, our boys homosexuals and effeminate. Because they dress it in uh, skirts, fingernails painted, dresses, all type of stuff. No, no, toenails painted, looking crazy. God said the men are not supposed to wear that which pertains unto a woman. Neither shall a you, just a pants. Neither shall a woman wear pants. The pants were created for who? For the man. That's right. Give me that Exodus 28. Yes, sir. About the pants. We're going to show you in the Bible where the pants were created for. Pants were created for men. Pants and shorts. Because shorts are short pants. Yes, sir. Read that. Exodus 28, uh, I think it's 40. Yes, sir. Take care of their children. Yeah. You gotta have hatred in your heart for not to take care. 
prepare your children ready to go to the club and get drunk. And your baby at home dying. What? Read it. To be discreet. To be what? Discreet. Discreet. Coming up. Reserve. That's what the Bible is saying. Read. Chase. Chase. Come on. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Not always running the streets. A lot of our sisters street walkers. Never at home. That's why they don't take care of their children or their husbands. Because they never at home. Read. Good. Uh huh. Obedient to their own husband. Good and obedient to their own husband. That's how our women, that's godly. God looks down at that and he loves to see that thing. But when our women out here running around crazy acting like that, that's an abomination. That's not in behavior, that's becoming holiness. We don't. That the word of God be not blasphemed. That we don't blaspheme the word of God. Because they see your behavior, they know you're keeping God's laws and stuff different about you. We got to be examples. So does the men. The men have to be examples out here to these young ones. I know you got people to look up to you, don't you? You got little young ones to look up to you. You got to be teaching them God's law. Just like you, sister. I know you got young daughters looking up to you. You too, sister. We got to repent and keep God's law. That's what we got to teach. Give me Acts 319. Yes, sir. Not keeping God's commandments got us in all these conditions we in. A little thing like women wearing pants. A little thing like eating shrimp. Not wear fringes on your clothes. Repent, sis. Get rid of those hands to get you a dress. You too, sis. Read. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. This is what God says. Read on. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. God says, repent ye therefore. Read. And be converted. And be converted. What's going to convert you? Hold that Psalm 19 and 7. What's going to convert it? The word of God. You absolutely right, brother. Read that. That's what the Bible says. Read. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Uh-huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. There's nothing wrong with God's law. Not eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. lobster. It's perfect. A woman not wearing pants. Perfect. Yeah. Worshiping on the Sabbath day, which is today, a Saturday. Perfect. Yeah. That's right. Read on. Converting the soul. Doing what? Converting the soul. Changing your mind. God's laws are perfect, changing your mind. That's the only thing that's going to change your mind is keeping God's law. A lot of us used to be out here doing the same thing. Guess what? We took heed. We repented. We got our minds right. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Is what? Is sure. Doing what? Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Because we think Christmas is on the Bible. It's of God. It's not. We think New Year's Day is of God. It's in the Bible. It's not. Do y'all celebrate any of those things? I don't anymore. You don't anymore? You, you said yes. You, you know, that's not, that's not in the Bible. Where did it say Christmas is Christ's birthday, December 25th? Celebrate it. It's not in there. What about you, sister? You don't celebrate it or you do? You celebrate Christmas? No? Why not? Another regular day. That's how it needs to be. You know, it's in the Bible. Good Jeremiah 10. You can drop songs. Go to Jeremiah 10. Christmas is in the Bible, but it's telling you don't do it. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. This is what God says about Christmas. It's an ancient holiday. Read. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, uh -huh. O house of Israel. O house of Israel. You notice how God only talks to the Israelites, correct? Only to us. He doesn't deal with all people. He only deals with the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. That's why right. the Israelites. Right. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith God. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't learn the way of the heathen. The other nations. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Talking about the sun, moon, and stars. Because they love to worship sun, moon, and stars. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen are dismayed at them. They worship them things. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of these other nations are vain. They're lying. You don't get into that custom. Read. For one cut a tree out of the forest. One cut of a what? A tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen. Uh -huh. With an axe. With an axe. Meaning they cutting a the tree down out the forest, right? Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. So they take this tree and put it where? In, in their house and decorate it with silver and gold. Don't we do that today? Ain't there a song called Silver and Gold? <laughs> this, that comes out the Bible. It's an ancient holiday for 
is not supposed to be celebrated by the Israelites. God said they take a tree, they cut it out the forest, then they decorate it with silver and gold. Read on. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. Uh huh. That it moves not. That it moves not, meaning they make it stationary. Today we got tree stands. Come with a tree stand, you set the tree in the tree stand and let it sit straight up. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. They are upright as the palm tree because back then they used palm trees. What do we use today? Evergreen trees. We use the evergreen tree today. Read. But speak not. They don't speak. Read. They must needs be born. Meaning carry. Because they're false. That thing can't walk into your house and set itself up. You got to set it up, right? God has said don't celebrate this holiday. Not of God. Christmas is of the devil. That's the right. white man, the deceiver. That's who that comes from. That's right. We don't celebrate those things. We celebrate Passover. These are our customs. The Sabbath day, the new moons, Pentecost, Feast of Tabernacles. These things we celebrate. I can read about these these holidays in the Bible. God's high holy days. I can read about these. But I don't read anywhere about Thanksgiving in here. Thanksgiving is about the destruction of our people. That's right. You see that? Fourth of July. Where was the Negro at Fourth of July? 1776. Where was we at? Enslaved? Whose independence are you celebrating? Theirs. Because we weren't independent. We were still their slaves in 1776. That's right. So you're not celebrating your independence. You're celebrating the white man's independence. Right. We were still enslaved. They were still selling off our, our foremothers as harlots. Raping our foremothers. Killing our forefathers. It comes back to this Bible. Like God said, you gotta what? Repent. You gotta repent. Y'all know that. Y'all gotta repent. Acts 3.19. Go back to it now. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Huh? Repent ye therefore. God says repent. Y'all know what y'all doing is evil. It's not of God. Now you have to show yourselves that you want to have that repentance. You want, you want a kingdom of heaven, don't you? You want to go to heaven. You don't want to die, do you? You want to go to heaven? Yes, sir. How you get to heaven? By doing right. By doing right? How do you get to heaven? Yes. Doing right. We're going to get you out the scriptures. Because we all got a vague opinion on how we get to heaven. We don't know definitely how to get to heaven. That's right. People been in the Christian church 30 years. And still, when I ask them, how do you get to heaven? They look at me and say, well, you know, just, just do good. What does that mean? We're going to go through God's words to show you how to get to heaven. Read that. Read what Christ said. Matthew 19. Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. Huh? And behold, one came and said unto him. One came and said unto Christ. This is a young man talking to Christ. Read it. Master, what good thing shall I do huh? that I may have eternal life? That I may have the kingdom of heaven. Because I don't want to die. I want to be in the kingdom, have an eternal life. Read. And he said unto him. This is Christ's response. Why callest thou me good? Why are you calling me good? There is none good but one. There's only one good. Who is that? That is God. That's the most high God. He took all the glory off himself and gave it to the Father. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life, but if you want to keep or get, to, get into the kingdom of heaven, right? Eternal life. Read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. That's simple. Christ said, if you want eternal life, keep the commandments. Some of them commandments we just named. Not eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You got to get you a modest uh, attire, a dress, a skirt. Modestly. You, brother, you got to get fringes on your clothes. You do too. You got to start congregating with us. You got to start keeping the Sabbath day holy. You got to get around like-minded people who are keeping God's commandments to teach you the right way. That's right. Because out here in the world, they're not teaching you God's laws. They teach you to break God's laws. You got to get around somebody who's going to teach you and encourage you to keep going. You understand? Give me, that. Give me Psalm 94, 16. Yes, sir. Give me that. Because we got God has an important question for both y'all. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. He wants to know if you know, you got all this information today, what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to go home and continue your own life? Or are you actually going to make a change? Right. Read that. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Uh huh? Who will rise up for me uh -huh. against the evildoers? That's what God is asking all of us. Who is going to rise up for me against the evildoers out here? Read. Or who will stand up for me uh -huh. against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up for God against the workers of sin out here? We need y'all on this side. We need you over here, brother, teaching the people and correcting them. 
just like we're doing today. We need you over here. Read that again. This is what God is saying. Who will rise up for me uh -huh. against the evil doer? Who's going to rise up for God against evil? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up for God against the workers of sin? That you? You're going to do it. You're going to repent, sister. I don't want it. You're going to try. You're going to do it, sister. What about you, brother? You're going to repent. Yeah, you got a, you got a flyer? Give me Judas 8.24. Yes, sir. Judas 8.24. You got a flyer? The information is on the back. The school address, the phone number, all that. Come to the school. Learn who you are. Y'all got to repent. I know. I, you say y'all want to go to heaven, correct? Yes, sir. I don't want to die. It starts with you making a change and repent, bro. Read that. Judas chapter 8, verse 24. Uh -huh. Now therefore, O oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. Let us do what? Show an example to our brethren. Show an example. We're show Look at the men in purple out here. We're showing you an example. This is an example of righteousness right here today. Because out there in the world, that's not an example of righteousness. You can look around right now. Exactly. That's what it is. Look around. Is that an example of righteousness? This is the only example of righteousness you see right here on this corner. This is a little bit of light right now, the truth. Read it again. Now, therefore, O brethren, uh -huh. let us show an example to our brethren. Let us show an example to our brethren, our people. We're out here to show an example to every one of y'all out here. The That's Christian right. pastor is not out here giving you an example of righteousness. Not at all. Read. Now, therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. Uh -huh. Because their hearts depend upon us. That, look, these people depend upon us. Somebody got to teach them right from wrong. And it starts with who? It starts with you. It starts with us. We got to teach these people right from wrong because they don't know it. They going to continue in what America gives them. Television, rap music, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, WAP. That's, our, that's the music we got to listen to today. The black man listening to music, degrading the black woman, getting high, getting drunk, selling drugs. That's not a type of music we need to be filtering into our spirit. We should be listening to holy, righteous music. Read on. Let us show an example to our brethren, huh? Because their hearts depend upon us. Their hearts depend upon us. And the sanctuary. And the sanctuary. And the house. Uh huh? And the altar. Rest upon us. Rest upon us. Last scripture. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 19. Yeah, I'm going to bring up the next picture. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Choices on y'all. We gave y'all life today. What you going to do with that life? Read this. This is what God says. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Uh huh? I call heaven and earth to record this day. I call heaven and earth to record this day. Right here. Read. Against you. Uh huh? That I, that I have set before you uh -huh. life and death. I've set before you life and death. Life is the keeping of the commandments. Death is right behind you. When you walk back and go that way, back into that world, that's death. This is life right here. Read. Blessing and cursing. Blessings is right here. This is how you receive the blessings by keeping the commandments. Curses right back there in the hood, right behind you. Read. Therefore, choose life. God says, therefore, do what? Choose life. Choose to keep the commandments. Read. That both thou and thy seed may live. That both you and your seed after you may live. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.